Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress. It is Tuesday, so the Queen rules. Every Tuesday I will show you a position where the Queen plays an important role. I want to show you a game from the first official world champion, Wilhelm Steinitz. In the year 1860 he played a match against a player with the name of Reiner. And the game I'll show you is the fourth game from that match. Reiner was white and Steinitz was black. Let's have a look at the game from the black side, from the side of the first official world champion. e4 from white and e5 from Steinitz, knight f3, knight c6 and d4. We have a scotch game. e takes d4, bishop c4 and here knight f6 is the most common move, but Steinitz played bishop c5 in this game. White castled, d6 c3 and bishop g4. Reiner played queen b3, attacking b7 and also attacking f7 with two pieces. Steinitz took on f3, bishop takes f7 check, king f8 and bishop takes g8. Threatening mate, so don't think you can snack a pawn on e4 because queen f7 is checkmate. We don't want that, so after bishop takes g8, Steinitz took back. Reiner took the piece back on f3. And g5 from Steinitz who goes on the attack. He's not worried about his own king which is in the open as white only has his queen into the game. His queen side is still undeveloped. Queen e6 not developing making another queen move. Knight e5 and queen f5 check. King g7, the king is going to find a safe place on h8. King h1, king h8, nicely tucked away in the corner. And rook g1 from Reiner. g4, very nice move, opening the queen's diagonal to h4, bringing the queen into the attack. And Reiner played f4. It seems to make sense because it is kicking the knight away after which this pawn on g4 is hanging. But it doesn't work. It's already difficult to give white good advice because his position is very bad. Which is no big surprise with three of his pieces looking at the action from afar. Knight f3 played by Steinitz and rook takes g4 indeed wins the pawn. But Reiner had missed a beautiful shot. If you want to look for yourself, it's really worth looking for. It will give you a great feeling of satisfaction if you find this move. Remember the theme of this video, the queen rules. It is a queen move and it is queen to h4. What a move. You cannot take the queen because it is checkmate on the bottom rank. Reiner saw that. He played the rook back to g2 to cover h2 because queen takes h2 was also a checkmate threat. And can you now find the mate in two that Steinis showed? Again put the video on pause if you want to look for yourself. Rook g2 was played to stop queen takes h2. But queen takes h2 came anyway. Rook takes and mate on g1. Wonderful play from Steinitz. His opponent may not have been the strongest player he could have faced. But still it was very nice to see how Steinitz completely dismantled him. And his queen h4 takes h2 moves were very beautiful. The queen rules. Hope you enjoyed this game from Steinitz and his beautiful way of finishing the game off with these two very powerful queen moves. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave a comment. If you like the video, if you like this series, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. This is Rick for Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.